An Interview with Norman Pickering. Interviewer, Irv Joel. Recorded August 29, 1997. Well, there was a lot of progress made in electronics during World War II, although, of course, it was all vacuum tube electronics. And a lot of that technology was applied to amplifier design, signal to noise ratios were improved, frequency response improved, uh, even microphones uh, to a certain extent, although the 44BX, you know, and those were still very much in evidence. And materials were improved. We went from shellac records with their horrible signal to noise ratio and into vinyl pressings. And, uh, however, the thing that bothered me the most was that the artistry of recording seemed to take a step backwards. Some of the greatest records that I've ever heard, and I still have some of them here, were made in the early 30s when Western Electric and Bell Laboratories still had a great influence on the recording process. You may remember some of those wonderful philharmonic recordings with Toscanini and so forth. Absolutely fabulous, artistically speaking. So they cut off at five kilohertz. Who cares? They have bass down to nothing, you know. And, uh, and then, for some reason or another, the quality, the musical quality of the recordings started to suffer.